The Democratic Alliance in Gauteng is concerned about the rise in farm attacks in Ondestapur, north of Tswane. This follows seven incidents in the area within 24 hours. Our reporter Pulele Tswiti has been tracking the story and found this report. Within a space of 48 hours, there's been a 10 cases of farm attacks that have been reported within a 15-kilometer radius of the Ondestapur Sport small holding. Now, these include... Um, Cases of armed robbery, uh, attempted um, house robbery, sorry, attempted house robbery, house robbery, and attempted murder logged with local police. And this comes at a time, of course, whereby we are told there's been a shortage of community police forums patrolling around some of these areas during the lockdown. But joining me right now is a community member, uh, Mr. Hannes Kutsia, who's been following most of these um, incidences that have been taking place on some of these small holdings. He's going to be talking to us right now. Um, Mr. Kutia, thank you very much for joining us on ENCA. Um, you've been monitoring some of these criminal elements that have been taking place around these areas. Um, what are the patterns that you've witnessed? Pule, thank you very much. Um, I think in the 10 cases, as you just mentioned, there's different ways of people entering into the properties. One, for instance, is they cutting the fences. The second thing is they started going for the uh, cable theft, and then they started with housebreaking. And now it becomes more violent where people are physically attacked and even shot at uh, where there's one or two cases where people are in hospital at this moment of time. And of course right now we're faced with the, with the problem, but what is the solution um, going forth from here? The solution I believe is that with the lockdown we had a little bit of a challenge because uh, Minister Tseller said that the CPF structures were not allowed to patrol the areas. Now there's a lack of police patrol. I must say there's one or two police stations that's working very well with us, hand in hand, but the challenge is that the CPF structures could not patrol the areas. Therefore, information, because they are the eyes and the ears on the ground. What has happened now with the lockdown is they released the CPF structures, and this is now where we started finding these problems uh, on the rural areas.